20 and 0 on FC 24 has finally happened. And I am here to give y'all my custom tactics because y'all have been blowing it up in the comments down below saying, Skills, what's your custom tactics? And I got y'all covered today. But first, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A9 Skills. Welcome back to the Road for Champions RTG Edition. And we're about to cook. I got a bunch of things happening. Plus, I got custom tactics. So let's start off with this first draft W. Uh, the RTG's kind of back on his grind, baby. You know, team of the year is right around the corner. Your boy's trying to get his fodder up. If you watched yesterday's episode, yeah, you know your boy is out here cooking, trying to get as many packs as possible. The coin total is 153, almost 160. Got another mega pack, but I'm not really saving packs for team of the year. I don't want people to think I'm doing that because I'm not. I'm actually just playing the game to collect fodder for when team of the year drops because i don't know i feel like man i've been seeing so many rumors of messi and ronaldo not being in team of the year which i think they're gonna be but a lot of people saying they're not so i think maybe we'll get spcs of them i don't know i think something crazy is gonna happen but if you guys don't know right now if you win a couple games on the draft that you get uh picks and or, or packs and um i am two wins away so i've played two drafts i've won both of them so that's eight wins i just got to pick up two more and i got this dunzo man so definitely look out for that which is an easy way for you to collect packs easy way to collect fodder easy way for you to get your uh your pack your pack game up and just objectives man if you're looking for ways to get your fodder up make sure you're doing that we'll come back talk about this in a minute let's talk about the custom ta the formation that got us uh 20 and 0 i ran the 442 lads um, and I did it on the big account with, uh, and I'm going to talk about players too. I'm not just going to give you my custom tactics. I'm going to talk about players that you need for this thing to work, okay? Look, I want to talk about a few things. 4-3-2-1 is the easiest formation in the game. These are the custom tactics for 4-3-2-1. I did not use this formation to get the 20, you know? Um, but it is one of the easiest formations to play in this game. What do I mean? If you run this formation, you don't really have to use your brain that much, or you don't really have to be that much of a uh fc or fifa expert right maybe you're new to the game you're not really as um you're veteran like a lot of people are that are watching this right now but maybe you're just not as like you know fluid of a player this formation here is super easy um it's very hard to break down defensively and offensively um it kind of plays for you you're gonna see the open pass every single time you don't really have to trigger runs not really much happening, right? You just kind of flow, go with the flow of, of what your players are getting open and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it will really cook for you. So it's a very, very strong formation. I'll show it to you quickly. Get in behind, stay forward, um, stay central, get in behind, come back on defense on your left or left one. This one's going to be stay central. This is not the formation I'm running. I'm just showing you guys quickly in case you guys want to run it. This is fully balanced. Um, you're not even supposed to have cover center. I feel, I feel like that's supposed to be fully balanced. I think I had that messed up right there. Stay back while attacking cover center. Stay back while attacking cover center on that. And then out here is one of your left backs or right backs going to be on balanced and with overlap. And the other one's going to be on stay back while attacking. That's it. Um, so very, very easy formation to play. Uh, your, your, your one that you have on balance is going to play like a cam. So remember that the other two will be on stay back while attacking. They'll defend in a 4 4 2. It's going to attack with a lot of players, but kind of, kind of plays for you. Now, if you're looking to kind of play your own football, and you're be aggressive offensively and score semi nice goals and try to play you know like a, a really fast tempo that's where i rock the 442 um i think the 442 allows you to play many play styles maybe it's down the wing uh maybe it's through the middle a little bit it really gives you a, a lot of play styles and i'm gonna explain why you're gonna start off with balance you're gonna go 38 with the width my depth is 71 i would not tell people to run this unless you know how to manually defend um 64 is probably your sweet spot i'm 71 ea dropped the patch to nerf 71 and i don't believe they did they definitely nerfed it a little bit but they didn't nerf it a lot um still works you know what i mean they pretty much broke every other offensive mechanic but they didn't break this uh which was the most broken thing um they didn't fix it balance direct passing with 50 here and then we're just gonna go five uh just balanced on five here three and two all right instructions are where it gets very very uh, interesting, but remember, I am going to give you which players you need for this formation to work properly, okay? So, let's start off with your attackers. You're going to have one of them on comeback on defense, and the other one and, and stay central, and the other one just going to be stay central and balanced. Now, I use Neymar as the comeback on defense because I feel like Neymar is more of a cam, right? So, I want Azebi to stay up front. I want Azebi to be my main goal scorer. I want Azebi to be my main number nine, and I want Neymar to kind of fall in behind Azebi, so that way when we start our initial attack, it's going to look more more like a 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one, where Neymar is going to kind of go behind a Zebu and be able to play a Zebu forward or play out to the wing whatever way we see it fit right so as you kind of want a number nine someone that can score a lot of goals dribble and pass 
playing this position because they will kind of play like a cam at times because you have comeback on defense. So when you're transitioning from the defense to attack, that's going to be more of a cam, okay? Come back on defense right here on your left mid. Uh, get in behind, get into the box for crosses. Same thing with your right uh, mid, okay? So what I found useful for this is um, someone not only that is fast, but also can create their own goal. So on my other account, right, the one we 20 and 0'd on, we had Henson and Mbappe. On this account, we have Malin and Sterling. On this account, we 18 and 2. On that account, we 20 and 0'd. This account, we rank 1 all the time. Um, we missed it this weekend by 18 and 2, but it's almost 20 and 0, right? It's 2 away, and we did it on the other account. So these custom tactics work whether you're on a pay to win or on an RTG. They're proven, right? I have 19 and 1 many times time with these custom tactics um but malin if you can afford him 100k plays a lot like mbappe and i used mbappe on the wing over there on the other account and then you have sterling on this one it was a smaller not as much as like henson but it's okay he's still very very rapid can score his own goal can really really make it happen but one thing i want people to understand that the most important players on this formation in my opinion are going to be your left mid your right mid your center backs and one of your midfielders I'll explain. We'll get more into it. Uh, stay back while attacking cover center on one of your center mids, and the other one's going to be on fully balanced except for cover center, okay? Um, this call, this player here is going to need to be a player that can pass, can defend, can score goals, and can create their own goals. Very important, okay? My favorite card in this position is Aitana or Putellis. Winter Wild Putellis is who I had in this position for the uh, position for the 20 and 0. She's amazing. She can help defend, but more importantly, she can create an amazing amount of goals. Um, very, very important, important position, okay? Because when you're attacking, this thing almost looks like a it almost it almost plays like a 4-1, a 4-1-2-1-2, where you have two attackers, two forwards, two wingers, right? And then Modric goes in as your cam. So it almost it almost feels for my old school guys that used to run 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Feels a lot like that when you're playing this formation, but more like a 4 1 2 1 2 wide because Teresa Gay or your other midfielder is going to be the only person that stays back. And then Modric, Malin, Sterling, Neymar, and Zebu are all going to get forward feeling like a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow. That's why I told you if you want to play the wings, it's going to happen. If you want to play through the middle, Modric will take like that cam position and Modric will uh, play right in behind the strikers and you can play through the middle. So that's why I like the 4 one 2 2 narrow so much. I mean the 4 4 2 so much. Stay back while attacking, everything else fully balanced, and then your other one is gonna be overlapping and that's it, okay? Now, let's talk about it. I think, in my opinion, the left back and the right back are where it begins. More your left back because your left back's gonna be one going up and down. I had Afonso Davies in this position for my 20 and 0 on the big account. And Afonso Davies in this position is crazy because he's so rapid that he can get up the field. And before you know it, you lose the ball. He's already on defense. The card is crazy. His Thunderstruck Afonso Davies is one of the craziest cards I've ever seen in this position. I love Bacha. I love Havertz. But what Afonso Davies brings to this is crazy. So if you could play Afonso Davies in this position, I feel like he's the best left back for the 4-4-2 with the overlap and no stay back while attacking. I think he's incredible here, man. The 4-4-2 with him at left back is wild. Your right back's not really as important because it's going to be a stay back. What I kind of like to do, my on my other account, it was Kafu. Uh, it was Kafu, VVD, and Varan. I kind of like to have three guys that can all play the center back position, if that makes sense. So Blanc, Maldini, Carlos Alberto. I kind of like that. Okay, three can play center backs and the other one's more of a forward. So at times it's going to feel like you're in a three back, just attacking with a lot of bodies. You're attacking with Bacha, you're attacking with Modric, Malin, Sterling, Azebu, Neymar, a lot of bodies forward. And then on defense, it kind of feels like a three back. So if Blanc's ever out of position, then you want your Carlos Alberto to cover up, you be able to play center back. You get what I'm saying? So having something like this is very, very clutch. Don't worry about getting a right back that can attack a lot for you. More get a right back that you feel, okay, if I get stuck with him at center back, is he good enough? That's kind of what it comes down to for me. So having three amazing like player center backs on the ball, but realistically all of them that can play center backs, very, very important, okay? The next guy that I'm gonna replace on this account will be Blanc because I want someone that can play out the back better. So someone like Varane, uh, in this position will be somebody I go for eventually because the way he plays out the back is just incredible. Blanc is amazing for auto blocks, but I want to be able to play out the back faster and I feel like Varane brings that. So, Afonso Davies is uh, ideal for the left back position, like I said. Henson would probably be your best left mid if I'm being honest with you. Uh, Henson's just incredible. 
she's a really good left mid, I would say, there. Um, and then on this wing, I would say Malin and Bappe. You want one of those big, fast guys that won't get bodied off the ball. And then up top, in my opinion, and what I went with on my other account was um, I had a Zebu and and uh, the new fire Neymar. So I had basically almost the same team except for Mbappe and Henson. You get me? And VVD. Um, the rest was pretty similar. Uh, Azebio Neymar was my attack. Now I didn't have this Neymar. I had a bigger Neymar, but Neymar is so good in the 4-4-2, bros, because his dribbling is just remarkable. And the way he can left stick dribble will just dominate games for you. So that's what I do with the 4-4-2. Again, ideal what I want. And from RTG guys that are watching this right now, kind of to break it down for you, what I want, what I need is Afonso Davies at left back. Varan at center back. This is like my ideal, right? Varan here, Afonso Davies here. And up here, I'm pretty cool. I'm pretty chilling with what I have going on here. I'm not really too fussed about what's happening up there. I'm pretty happy with everything up top, right? Like, the only this team can maybe get is Henson, and Henson would kind of change this team a lot. But honestly, I really, really like what's going on with this team up top. I think this team. Up top is perfect for the 20, you know. The midfield's fine as well. Um, my midfield was Portelas, and I'm trying to think who the other midfielder was. And I can't think right now in the 20. You know, I don't know why I can't think. It was actually I do know it was the Winter Wild Cole and Portelas. I'm pretty sure. Um, this has Frankie De Jong and and Aitana or Modric and Aitana, but then the chemistry's off a little bit. So that's where it gets a little bit tricky or you can go to Reza Gay, who's just a ball winner um so yeah man that's kind of the options i have going on but lads that's the custom tactics that have worked wonders for me um 442 was a formation i got away from a little bit after the patch went to 4321 made the game pretty easy but really boring um went back to 442 started cooking people again started scoring a lot of goals you could play down the wing you could play down the middle you could play many different options and i just started having a lot a lot of fun with that formation again so again lads 442 for me is very very for very 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 fun now with that being said how the heck do i get to thunderstruck varan right that's the question right now and what i'm trying to do is give myself an opportunity as much fodder as possible right now on the RTG. I'm running through as many objectives as possible. So that way, when SBC start to come out during team of the year, I'll be ready and I'll have players for it. And at the meantime, and in the meantime, and in between time of doing that, um, just playing drafts and hopefully draft rewards will give me enough coins to be able to afford Alfonso Davies or Varan or something like that. But I mean, not Varan, yeah, Varan. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm kind of not really doing any of these 84 by fives or 85s. I'm kind of staying away from all this stuff and kind of just saving up fodder. I do have an 84 by five that I'm saved up here that I haven't opened, but I'm kind of just sitting back lads on my packs. Not again, not to pack a team of the year, just that when team of the year comes, I want to be able to pick up a loads and loads and loads of fodder for team of the year. So I don't really see a point of me opening right now. I think I'm going to more send it when team of the year is here simply because not that I'm saving packs. It's just I want to save my fodder. And I feel like if I open these packs and I get fodder, if something cool comes out before team of the year, I'm going to complete it. And I don't really want to do that unless it's something really, really cheap. And if it's something really, really cheap, then I should have the fodder for that already. So that's kind of where the RTG is it right now. It's kind of in like... I uh, kind of like a boring stage, I guess, where I can't really make too many moves, kind of waiting for team of the year, kind of waiting for my moment to pounce on 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 fodder and all that stuff. But yeah, man, kind of just sitting back and 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 trying to put the account in the best way possible. This upcoming weekend league, a 20 and 0 is a must. Um, I feel like we have the right team for it. I feel like we have the right players for it. Now it's just about going out there and executing like we did last weekend. So um, I might drop Blanc for the first time ever going into the weekend league on this account for a very, very long time. I just don't know who's going to take that spot yet. I don't really have, you know what I mean? I got VVD for four here, um, but I don't really have somebody to take that spot. I don't have Varana. I do have Saliba, who's really nice, but Blanc might be left out for one of the first times. But hey, guys, I hope these tactics help you guys, man. If they do, hit that big old thumbs up subscribe to your bell in the comments down below let me know what formations you guys are running what tactics you guys are running i'm enjoying the 442 right now it's what i've ranked one the most in this year and it's what i've ranked one it's what i finally 20 and 0 in so um just having a lot a lot of fun with the 442 also 20 and 0 i never switched out of 442 i stayed 442 the entire time every game never switched out stayed with it the whole time all right so on this account i went 18 and 2 i switched out of it and went 4 
three, two, one a couple times and I regret it. I should have stayed four, four, two and probably would have dropped 19, one or maybe even 20 and oh. So, hey, thank you all for watching. I will catch you guys in the next RTG episode. And I hope these custom tactics help you guys pick up more W's. All right, peace out. See you soon.